Hello, good morning. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Gosh, you guys, no matter how much I go live, it is just so awkward in the beginning. Like, hi, I'm here. Who wants to talk to me? <laughs> I did think about it Thursday last week, and I really like the theme, think about it Thursday. And I really like kind of you know, talking to you guys about maybe a random thing that I learned or thought of during the week that while it applies to our posh business, it also is just something to think about, right? So I kind of like that theme. Coming up with themes for the day is really being helpful to me. Tomorrow is Farm Friday. I think we'll be at the chicken coop tomorrow, so be sure that you don't miss me tomorrow. Okay, so this morning, what we're going to think about is I wanna share with you guys this book. So I got this book from TJ Maxx because that's my favorite store in the world, and it's a year of positive thinking. And I bought this when I was not thinking the most positively. I've gone through a couple of bouts of being extra negative. I would say lately, but not lately. I would say in the past like year, even before Corona, I was going through like, you know, just feeling a little negative. So one time when I was online shopping, I was like, let me turn my attitude around. And so I got this book of a year of positive thinking. And I don't look at it every single day. I leave it out on my coffee table, but I'm not the best housekeeper and my coffee table is always covered in crap. But whenever I see it, I do pick it up and look at that day. And it's got an entry for each day and it's like dated. So I'm thinking I really do enjoy it and I do love it when I read the passage and I kind of try to think of the passage throughout my day. I'm going to keep this and look at it in years to come because it's not the end of the world if I read the same passage over again. Anyway, um, August 5th, obviously today is not August 5th, but August 5th really super stuck with me and has stuck with me like crazy. So today I wanna to share August 5th with you um, so that we can think about it together. So August 5th, the title for August 5th, 5th was Stay Open to the Magic of Life. And it says, life is not boring unless you allow it to be. There's magic everywhere from the sidewalk rainbow after a rainstorm to the casual run in with a long lost friend to a smile received from a perfect stranger. Notice how often you hear from someone you've been thinking about or how you find just the right words to say in a moment you need them the most. This is the magic that can be most easily missed. Practice noticing it. Keep your heart and your eyes open wide enough to appreciate the synchronicities and magic around you. And so that's why I did hashtag mole, M-O-L, right? Um, because I've jokingly um, used that hashtag. So I read this passage to Alyssa the day that I read it because it just really hit me. Like it is the magic of life. And if you take time to notice it, the magic of life really does happen. It sounds so cheesy that I'm like preaching it to you guys, but it really truly happens all around us. Um, once in a blue moon, like I'll be thinking about somebody and I'll reach out to them. And they're like, oh my God, I was just thinking about you too. Or I won't reach out to them. And then they reach out to me the next day. Like, oh, I was just thinking about you. And I'm like, I swear I was thinking about you too. And so what I want you guys to think about is thinking about noticing the magic of life. And also think about when you do have those thoughts of thinking about somebody, reach out to them. Stop what you're doing and reach out to them right away because there is a connection and it really makes a difference and it's really helped to, to put a more positive perspective in my days as I'm trying to carry around this hashtag mole, <laughs> right? Because instead of thinking magic of life, hashtag mole is my shortcut um, in going about my day. Um, now I wanna read today's with you because I haven't read today's yet, um, but I did read the title and I thought it would be applicable. So today's the 20th and the title is Your Dreams Are Ready. Every hard earned lesson that you've ever experienced brought you to this exact place. You're meant to be here. You have everything that you need now and will need in the future. The only thing missing from your dreams is you. Now is the time to leap and then soar into your life you've always hoped for. So there's a positive thought for the day. Um, so anyway, as you are thinking about it on Thursday, if nothing else, I want you to think about what a difference positive thinking does make. Take that from a traditionally, um, some people call pessimistic, I say I'm realistic, but I think that's actually the pessimist's like defense mechanism to call themselves a realist. Um, but anyway, take it from a 
recovering realist slash pessimist, positive thinking truly does make such a difference in your life. It makes a difference in your business. It makes a difference in how you come across, right? I swear to you that I literally can change my day when I'm having a negative day and I'm feeling really, you know, whiny and pissy. And I specifically, somebody tried to call me. Um, and I specifically focus in on my attitude and changing it to be positive, which is a little harder than, than it seems, but it can be done. My day totally turns around. So as you're thinking about it on Thursday, I want you to think about the power of positive thinking because it really truly is a thing. And I also want you to think about hashtag mole, the magic of life because, oh, it's so crazy. And now I could go into a whole tangent about vibes and the universe and all of that. I'm not too hippy dippy, but I am a little bit into vibes. Like I really do think that vibes are a real thing. And you want to surround yourself with nothing but positive vibes. So I hope you guys think about it on Thursday. I will be um, coming to you live tomorrow for Farm Friday. I don't know what our lesson will be. Oh, maybe it'll be something about like... So I've just, okay, sorry, squirrel. <laughs> My littlest baby chicks and guineas that I have raised together as an experiment because I've raised chicks on their own and I've raised guineas on their own, but never together. I mix them together and they're doing fa fabulously and they're just old enough to start free ranging. And so just today was the first day that I opened the door and I'm already skipping into Farm Friday, but I think this is what I'll talk about. When um, I first opened the door, they don't go anywhere. They stay in their little coop and they don't explore. It takes them like a couple of days and sometimes me encouraging them to get out there and do a little more exploring. So maybe I'll tie that into our business somehow, who knows? But anyway, look forward to baby chicks tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.